This race is epic. The McLaren MP4X at Le Mans Endurance. This is the hardest race in the game and also the highest paying as far as fame and R dollars per minute. Now, why is this race so hard? Because it is unpredictable. The bots are appearing in different places and all sorts of craziness can happen. So, first lap here, these bots are really slow. I mean, they're fast compared to like a Ford Focus, but compared to what I'm driving, they're quite slow and kind of in the way, but it, that doesn't last for very long. And if you aren't familiar with the type of racing I'm doing, this is called Endless Endurance Racing. And we're gonna jump ahead a little bit here to what can go wrong sometimes. That kind of mistake would usually mean that I should restart. However, if we jump ahead a little bit here, fast forward through this lap a pinch, you can see I am getting in trouble at the end of this lap, but I have a tendency to overdrive the first two laps. So I'm okay. Jump ahead a little bit more, and here we are at the end of the third lap, and again, it looks like I'm in trouble, but there you go, making it through and making it to the fourth lap, which is where you will normally reach the nice long chain of bots, or some people call it a train of bots, which I've done that a lot. And you'll see what I'm talking about pretty quick here. If you drive the first two laps crazy aggressive, you can actually hit the train at the end of the second or even the beginning of the third, but it's really risky because you could also end up having a third lap with so few cars that you don't even finish it. And that changed how I started to approach this race. I realized that I was often overdriving it, actually driving too fast. So you slow down a little bit and it can get a bit easier. Now, something you have to watch for at this point of this race, and well, any race when you're getting far, is that the bots or the other cars are driving faster than a fully upgraded car. However, they still do not optimize the corners, as you can see. I can overtake him in the corners, but you watch. They will continually pull away from me on the straightaways. And that really doesn't make sense, especially when you'll see me gaining on them at first, and then suddenly they're pulling away. Like, that's impossible. Like, watch this. Okay, I'm getting ready to pass, and I can't. I was going to shove him into the grass, but he didn't want to go, and I don't want to wreck him. I was clearly into the gas before him, but he pulls away. So that does create some interesting challenges. Like basically, at this point of the race, I am past the end of an average endurance race. That's why you saw me cutting corners and why you have to keep on cutting corners, because you've got to run really fast back-to-back -back lap times here. Now at this point, if I fall a little bit behind and I catch up, the train of bots will still be there. If my laps get too slow, they'll start to get gapped a little bit, but the train will stay. However, this is an incredibly hard race. If you have a major accident, you're just not going to make it. Like even here, again, I'm running out of time. So now it's going to get easier for me. Look at this. So easy to wreck here. Like that is ridiculously close to me ending this race. But here we are, lap five. And now you will see the bots get even closer together. Now, I've done this a lot, so I'm used to anticipating the bots. You really have to know where they want to drive and when they will be there. Because there's a combination of driving exactly in their way and getting totally out of their way. Sometimes you need to drive right where they want to drive so that they don't take you out. A big problem in this race is that it takes five seconds for a bot to disappear and sometimes in those five seconds they totally take you out. For some reason a bot gets even more aggressive as he's disappearing. Now look at this, that's a tight group. And I don't know if you noticed that back there, I did a crossover in the middle of the corner. I started on the outside then I went to the, kind of through the middle. Now here I'm going to break a little bit early so I can get more steering done earlier and then blast past these guys. It's incredibly rare to fill your clock here. Now watch really carefully. There, you saw he was just coming up on me again. That could have been disaster. He could have pitted me. 
All right, now here we are, and I make a mistake. I got too aggressive. I thought I could do that, and look, the bots start disappearing on the horizon. Now, because I've done this a lot, I know that I need to have 68 seconds on my clock when I clear this corner to be safe until the next lap. That means I'm 20 seconds short on finishing this lap. Okay, a 10 seconds a car, you can do the math. I need to pass two cars. Well, that's kind of scary. The other number I look for is I wanna have 38 seconds, not at this corner and not at this corner, but after I clear this next corner, I want a minimum of 38 seconds on my clock. Okay, well, I don't have enough. So I have to get one more pass to make it to the end of this lap and start the next one. And that can really get in your head. So oftentimes I start overdriving this section. If you drive this properly, you stay full throttle up until about here, very short braking point. And then, oh, look at that. I blew the pass. Again, I'm running out of time. So I've got to stay aggressive and calm. Like that was really close. And then I got to watch getting back on track. I've lost a race right there because I got on track too aggressively and I got pitted. So you have to know where the bots are after you've passed them. Now I'll be good here. I break early and then I get to the gas early and often get an overtake right here. Oh boy, this will be tight. Okay, I gave him a little tap. Sometimes that much of a tap can damage you, sometimes not. Now you see how much I'm gaining on this guy? That's because they break for that corner and I don't have to. So I'm actually gonna lift off the throttle a little bit here, let him get a little bit ahead, break a little bit early and time my pass through this section. You see, cause I, usually I'm at 435 at the end of that one and then it just, you can really get in trouble. Now here, totally unexpected that I would have this really tight group of bots here. That's what makes this race so hard. You just have to be ready for the unexpected and watch this. I'm gonna go between these cars to do this cut. Now that's just from experience. Now I know there's cars, I'm watching for ghosts. Okay, I was good, no ghosts. Now here we are, look at this, 160 kilometers and I think I'm gonna be fine and I don't know what happened. I blew the corner somehow, I should have been fine. I don't know why my car stepped out and look at that, they disappeared just like that. So again, I've got to stay very calm, but be very aggressive. And that is an interesting place to try to be, you know, calm and aggressive at the same time. If you watch carefully, you're probably thinking I'm going off track sometimes when I'm not, like at that last chicane. It looks like I went off track, but if you watch my distance, I was not off track and I do the exact same thing in time trials. You have to know all the boundaries of this track so you know when you can push it hard and when you have to take it a little bit easy because you're off track. All right, so I've been regaining time, but like I said before, I wanna be at 68 seconds when I'm getting on this next section here, the next straight, and look at this, I'm substantially down. I really need to make up time. And there you go, I overdrove it a little bit. I got the pass, but I paid too much to get that pass. I could have got that pass without sliding out. So I need at least another two cars before that start finish line to have this race continue. It's a stressful race. Uh, I don't know too many people who find this race easy. I do know a couple, but boy, not too many. You've gotta be, top level racer to find this easy and yeah extremely challenging race like look at that you can see him just on the horizon so here you take it right you stay full throttle here you're full throttle here you're full throttle only here do you need to break a little bit and now i need to stay full throttle through this again running out of time but look how tightly grouped they are i've got to do this and then get on the brakes and salvage this Woo, that was close. So you have to stay aggressive, but then also stay calm. Coffee break. Ah! Ouch, that hurt, spilled coffee. All right. <laughs> also need a little bit of break for the nerves once in a while, but if you take too long of a break in this race, it's hard to get back in it. Okay, 
Watch this. That is a big mistake. I should not have gone in the left-hand lane there. I thought I could clear them and I finished it, but that is extremely risky. So we've jumped ahead here. I'm nearing 200 kilometers. That is monumental. Ooh, interesting group of bots on my left. Pay attention for ghosts. No ghosts coming up. All right, I oof, just cut that corner a bit too much. This car has incredible grip, but you cut corners a little bit too aggressively and it is gonna step out wildly on you. Okay, let's jump ahead a little bit more. Here we are and, you know, my timer's okay, but boom, I got too aggressive. At this point, my grip and brakes have been degraded because of damage. Normally top speed and acceleration would also be affected, but there's currently a glitch in the game so that they aren't. Don't expect that to last. So I have to be just a little bit more delicate and watch where I am when I get back into the throttle. Okay, you know, heading into this, I'm gonna be at least 30 seconds short, more than 30 seconds short as I get onto this. I'm gonna do a little bit of a risky maneuver. I've done it a few times. I'm gonna cut here and cross over. Now that's really risky. Uh, I didn't have to cross over, but it worked. And that got me through to the end of that lap. Now look at this. Look at this tight group of bots. See, that's the thing. If you run faster and faster back-to-back -back laps, they get closer and closer. Now only to a point. They never get like literally bumper to bumper, but still, nice group of bots. So I've got to be careful going into this. Now watch this. That's a nice shooting of the gap. That was honestly too risky. I didn't need to be doing that and I shouldn't have been doing that, but sometimes you just get tunnel vision and you go for it. So here we are, my timer's a little bit low and man, I lost it. Need another little break. Oh, come on. Oh, great, my hair turned blue. I don't know what was in that drink when it got dumped on my head, but I cooled off a little bit. So again, Look at this, you know, you pretty well seen no bots. There's one. And so I, I often short break this a little bit so that I can pass on the outside. And I really, ah, oh, I can't get down there. Okay, well I did better not losing it there. So, a little bit stressed. I don't like my clock being this low right here, especially with the bots that far away. However, I shouldn't have a problem taking this chicane that bot shouldn't be in my way. Let's see how I do. No, that was good. Oh, nuts, and then I overshoot the pass. That was just silly on my part. Okay, so two mistakes on a lap is usually two too many. This race just does not afford you that much sloppiness. It's, uh, it's just really, really hard, but an incredibly nice paying race. I've been trying to pay more attention to this one. But man, unlike other races, you just can't relax during this race. Like you're always having to do the math. How many more bots do I need? Do I need to push it? Can I lay back just a little bit? Like right there, look, I, I overshot that. And that's gonna cost me. I should have been able to have that pass and I would have been ahead of him. Yeah, like looking at this now, it's over. And even if I would have passed him, I really think it would have been over. It's just, it's just not enough time now. There's just no way. I actually tried to take him out. I thought I could take him and maybe make it to the end of this lap, but there you go. This is a great race. Watch what happens when my timer runs out. There's no other car that slows down this fast without hitting the brakes. Isn't that crazy? Okay, well, I'm definitely going to show you all my earnings. And um, I've done this race before. You might know that. I did a tutorial video in the past. I'll provide a link to that video right away. In that one, I cover more of the basic strategy, and I also really detail the breaking points, including freeze frames, so you can see what I look for. I hired the fame agent, but I did not hire the R manager because I only hire him when he's free. In case you're wondering, it's about 48 minutes of actual racing time. So, thank you for joining me, and happy racing!